I'm standing outside of the athletic training facility here at Long Beach City College, and right inside the door behind me is a very special man I'd like you all to meet. His name is Charles Dixon, and he was born in 1960 with cerebral palsy, a neurological disorder that has rendered his arms, legs, and vocal cords disabled. Despite being born with this illness, Charles still manages to make it to the gym every week to work out his arms and legs. We caught up with one of his trainers to talk about this hard work ethic. It inspired me so much because you, you expect so little from him and he gives you all he can. Like He gives you so much, you'll be like, wow, because he do so much. Like, it's, it's just amazing overall. Like, you just have to watch him. This hardworking attitude can be seen in all aspects of his life, especially in his participation with the community. Charles has managed to stay active through different forms of social media, including Facebook, Yahoo Mail, and other online networks by pecking on a keyboard with a pen clenched in his teeth. Needless to say, I was amazed. But I'm not alone. Many other people also find Charles to be truly inspiring. I was able to talk to a few members of his church community to hear how they feel about this amazing man. I, I learned of Charles, uh, I don't know, I think it was like, like three Sundays after I was here. You know, I saw him sitting over there and I know that he was, uh, a, he stood out in the church because everyone was going over to taking him books over there so he can read and go along with everything. He was singing along everything. He's just, he's just, he's just Charles. <laughs> what else can I say? He has inspired me in the fact that uh, he continues to endure even with the disabilities. And since I'm healthy and got everything moving and working, then I don't have any reason to, co to complain. So he's an inspiration for me in that way. It's his optimistic and inspirational outlook on life that caught the attention of Jerome Robinson, a member of the community who wanted to help Charles in any way he could. Jerome noticed that Charles's home was not suited to fit the needs of one with such a disability and wanted to make a difference. That's why Jerome started the Wishability Project. I spoke to my pastor about it and I got the idea about the Wishability Project through one of the first things I, I, I researched was the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And that is a foundation that provides funding for children who are terminally ill. I mean, not funding, but they provide wishes for children who are terminally ill. So if a child has a terminal illness, um, an application is, being, is put in, and then um, what are called wish makers will go to the wish child and find out what this process, to find out what the wish is, and whatever that child's wish is, if possible, the, wish, the um, Make-A-Wish Foundation will uh, accommodate it. Well, Charles doesn't qualify for that. So I thought on it a while, and that was my inspiration. I decided, well, let's try something, start our own thing, and we'll call it the Wishability Project, as in disability, only wishability. Yeah. And his wish is for um, these accommodations, and he does not have the ability to make that wish come true, but we do. So what kind of amenities does he need in his home to help him with his disability? Well, for one thing, he has a, the bathroom is very small. He has a standard bathtub, and he has to be picked up like a baby and placed in the bathtub um, and brought out of the bathtub when he, whenever he is bathed. Um, they have a small hoist device, but the bathroom is so small that the hoist can't get in, and even if it could get in, maneuvering would be a problem. So the one thing he needs is a wheelchair-accessible shower. Charles Dixon's constant dedication and hard work has made him a key piece to his Long Beach community. With your help, we can make a difference in Charles Dixon's life. If you're interested in donating to the Wishability Project, you can visit their Facebook and webpage listed on the screen. I'm Chris Johnson for IE News.